Hi, my name is Maria and I'm a mathematician and today I'm going to tell you what you need to remember when you're dealing with fractional exponents. So if you have x to the one half power, what you're going to do is take the denominator of your power and that's going to become the root. So that means that I'm doing the square root. Now, generally when we're doing square roots, we don't really write the two there, but I'll do it for clarity. And then inside of my radical, I'm going to write x to the, and keep the numerator, to the first. So x to the one-half power is really the same thing just as the square root of x, okay? Let's do that with a number. Let's say I had um, 25 to the one-half, all right? The denominator becomes my root, so it's the square root of 25 to the first power, which is just 25. So it's the square root of 25, which is just 5. Okay, now let's change the numerator. Let's say I had the number 2 raised to the, let's do 2 raised to the 4 thirds. 2 raised to the 4 thirds. Now, instead of doing the square root, because my denominator is 3, it means that I'm taking the cube root of 2 to the 4th power, okay? So then I can simplify inside and I can go 2 to the 4th power is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. So 2 times 2 is 4 times 4 is 16. So I'm really looking for the cube root of 16. In this case, I can leave it like that because I can't think of a number that I multiply by itself 3 times to get 16. So that's as simplified as it'll get. Um, we'll do one more example. If I had... 8 to the 1 3rd power, now I'm doing the cube root of 8 to the 1st, which is really just 8. So I'm looking for the cube root of 8. So I'm thinking of a number that I multiplied by itself 3 times to get 8, and that number is 2. So 8 to the 1 3rd power is really equal to 2. So when you're doing fractional exponents, you make the denominator the root, and the numerator is what your, power, is what your number is raised to on the inside. And that's what you have to remember when you're dealing with fractional exponents.